One Piece is currently in the final saga, and the very first arc in this saga is the Egghead Island arc, which is currently in its very climax. Fans were treated to an incredible flashback that covered the entire story of Bartholomew Kuma, one of the seven warlords of the sea that they have known for quite a long time. Kuma's tragic story was hinted at for quite a while now, and it was only a matter of time before more focus was thrown on it. The flashback that fans witnessed recently covered Kuma's story in great detail and, now, finally, it is time for the flashback to conclude, with One Piece Chapter 1102 being the very last chapter in it. With that, the story will now be heading back to Egghead Island and fans are incredibly excited about that. Kuma on Sabodi Archipelago One Piece Chapter 1102 is going to feature quite a lot of exciting developments pertaining to the character of Kuma. Given that this flashback is about Kuma and his daughter Bonnie, these two characters are, of course, going to be central to this chapter. When it comes to Kuma, fans last saw him serving the role of a Shichibukai all over the world. He was even seen helping in the revolutionary army discreetly, and even visiting Luffy in secret. He continued to write letters to his daughter, although they never reached her, which is quite sad. In One Piece Chapter 1102, fans will continue his adventures across the ocean in an attempt to keep his deal with the world government. It is quite interesting because fans know that the events that One Piece Chapter 1102 will cover are going to be from the pre-time skip timeline. This means fans will get to see, react to events such as Luffy defeating Arlong and, later, attacking the Straw Hat Pirates on Thriller Bark and, following that, on the island of Sabodi Archipelago as well. Finally, fans will get to see Kuma's thought process when he took up arms against the Straw Hat Pirates and, at the same time, why he decided to aid them in the way that he did. This is going to be quite exciting for the fans to witness, and, of course, at the same time, knowing how the flashback has gone so far, also very sad. Bonnie becomes a pirate. It has already been confirmed to the fans that One Piece Chapter 1102 is going to be featuring Jewelry Bonnie's adventures as a pirate across the oceans. Fans already saw her leaving the Sorbet Kingdom in the previous chapter and, now, it is time for Bonnie to explore the seas. Fans know Bonnie to be a member of the worst generation and, this means that she will make quite a name for herself and acquire a bounty of 140 million berries before reaching Sabodi Archipelago. In the official preview for One Piece Chapter 1102, Oda released a panel in which it was clear for the fans to see how the Bonnie pirates were created. Bonnie promised to lead a pirate crew that would steal from the bad guys and, at the same time, help nobody other than those who are desperately in need of help. Bonnie also starts wearing lipstick to appear like an adult and her goal is to, of course, get to her father. These events are somewhat ironic, given that they happen side by side with when Luffy acquired his first bounty of 30 million berries. Kuma believes it to be somewhat of an interesting fair for Dragon's son to become a pirate, not knowing that his own daughter has become a pirate as well. One Piece Chapter 1102 will likely also document Bonnie's advancements from the South Blue all the way to the Grand Line and Finally, Sabodi Archipelago, where she established herself as a member of the Supernovas. Kuma's final message to Bonnie. One Piece Chapter 1102 will also see Kuma speak to Vegapunk in great detail. According to the spoilers, Kuma will go ahead with the memory erasure, however, Vegapunk will be against this procedure. To Kuma, however, the process has already begun and he's willing to make the sacrifice because he knows that Luffy is going to be the one who saves the world. Despite that, Vegapunk Punk preserves Kuma's memories in a bubble and makes it so that this bubble is kept safely on Egghead Island. This opens the door for Kuma's memory to be returned to him. However, fans cannot be absolutely certain about that just yet. Before Kuma gives up his memories, however, he asks a big favor of Vegapunk, and that is to wish his daughter a happy 10th birthday. This is because Kuma promised Bonnie that once she turns 10, they are going to adventure all over the world, and that he would take her to places that she had been dreaming about ever since she was a child. Kuma gifted new life to Bonnie and for him, this was the biggest gift that he could ever give her. This is a tragic tale of a father and a child and, hopefully, One Piece Chapter 1102 will focus greatly on this aspect of the story. 
the flashback ends. Of course, One Piece Chapter 1102 will finally mark an end to this flashback. This flashback has been going on for quite a while now, and fans were worried that Oda might rush it. However, Kuma's story has been perfectly depicted and fans cannot be more happy with the path that Oda took. Fans saw everything, from his birth, to his early life and slavery, to his escape from slavery on God Valley all the way to the rise as a member of the Revolutionary Army. Fans even got to see the many tragedies that he ended up facing in life and, more importantly, his blossoming bond with his own daughter Bonnie. Now, fans will finally get to see Kuma losing his humanity in One Piece Chapter 1102 and being made a permanent slave of the world government. At the end of the chapter, the flashback will finally conclude and the attention will turn to Egghead Island once again. The war on Egghead is far from over and, after witnessing this incredible flashback, the fans will want Luffy to muster strength once again and make sure that Bonnie as well as Kuma are liberated from the tyranny of the world government. Luffy is needed and all hopes are pinned on him at the moment, and fans absolutely cannot wait for him to take a stand against Saturn and all those who aid him. Sadly, One Piece's progress might slow down a bit due to the holiday, as fans won't have many chapters in the month of January. Nonetheless, the upcoming chapters of One Piece are going to be absolutely incredible, with the intensity going through the roof due to the many impending battles on Egghead. And in other news, One Piece, Oda reveals why Kuma separated the Straw Hats on Sabote. One Piece has started the final saga with a bang, with Egghead Island being an incredible arc that keeps on getting better as the Kuma flashback gets explored more. Finally, with One Piece Chapter 1102, the flashback has now come to an end and the events of the Egghead Island arc are now going to be focused on the Egghead War once again. Before the flashback concluded, fans found out quite a lot of intriguing information about the character of Kuma. His entire life was flashing before his eyes before this incredible flashback finally concluded, and, among the many big revelations that were made, it was also explained why he separated the Straw Hat Pirates on the island of Sabote, two years prior to the current events of the One Piece story. How Kuma separated the Straw Hats on Sabote. Sabote Archipelago Arc is considered to be one of the most tragic ones in One Piece, and this is largely down to the fact that the Straw Hat Pirates were utterly destroyed on this island. Known to be the last island that any crew heads to in the Paradise half of the Grand Line before moving on to the New World, the Straw Hat Pirates arrived on Sabote with great ambition, and the goal was to go to Fishman Island, which, of course, was the bridge between the Paradise and the the new world. Of course, things went south quickly for the crew after Luffy punched a celestial dragon for shooting Hachi, his dear friend. This caused quite a commotion on the island and resulted in Admiral Kazaru coming over to take care of Luffy and the Straw Hat Pirates. The crew could have faced utter annihilation at the hands of Kazaru and Sintamara had it not been for Kuma. Of course, at the time, fans did not know that Kuma was actually saving the crew. He arrived on the island and used the power of his incredible devil fruit to completely wipe out the crew, splitting them up and sending them to different locations in the world. This, in effect, marked the end of the Straw Hat Pirates since they were fully separated and did not reunite for two more years. Upon returning, fans found out that Kuma was protecting the Thousand Sunny for the Straw Hat Pirates and, at the same time, it was also revealed that this incredible character might have had underlying motivations for separating the crew the way that he did. Finally, One Piece has now revealed why he did what he did two years ago, Kuma's knowledge of Luffy being Nika. Kuma separating the Straw Hat Pirates was the only option that he had backed during the Sabote Archipelago arc and much of that is down to two main reasons. The first reason is that Luffy is the son of Dragon and, for Kuma, saving him would be an obligation, just as it was an obligation for Ivankov to help him during the Impel Down arc and, later, ensure his safety during the Paramount War arc. However, the biggest reason why Kuma saved Luffy was because he is Nika. Kuma saw Luffy training on a few occasions and realized that he had the power of the Goma Goma no Mi. Kuma himself has deep knowledge of lore about Nika and knows that he is a legendary warrior with a rubbery body who fights with great freedom 
and does anything one can think of. Kuma, in One Piece Chapter 1102, clearly mentions that he believes that Luffy could be Nika, and he draws a comparison between these two. This is especially true because Luffy opposed the world government, just as Nika would have done. As such, for Kuma, saving Luffy became imperative because according to him, Luffy would be the man who would, one day, go on to save the entire world. Why Kuma Saved the Straw Hat Pirates In One Piece Chapter 1102, it was finally clarified why Kuma separated the Straw Hat Pirates and, in doing so, saved the crew. Once Kuma sent away Luffy's crew members, fans could see Luffy cry in front of the buccaneer. Kuma thought inwardly about what he was doing and explained why he was doing it. While Luffy was crying because he couldn't save even a single friend because of his weakness, Kuma believed that to not be true. According to him, Luffy was strong however, he wasn't ready for the new world just yet, and he was rushing things quite a lot. Kuma wanted Luffy to wait until he was properly ready for the new world and strong enough to face its many terrors. As a result, to make sure that Luffy was fully ready and equipped with whatever he needed to face the treacherous sea called the New World, he split the Straw Hat Pirates and delayed their entry to the most dangerous sea in the One Piece world. The Straw Hat Pirates and the fans, at the time, perceived this as an act of villainy by Kuma, however, it was actually a very smart move from him. This just goes to show how deeply Kuma cares about Luffy, and also that he believes him to be the savior of the entire world, that is, Nika reborn. While Luffy and the Straw Hat Pirates were training, Kuma used his body to shield their home, the Thousand Sunny, from anyone who would seek to harm it. Luffy as the savior of the world. It is clearer now than ever before that Luffy is Nika, thanks to the Devil Fruit Awakening that he underwent during the events of the Wano War. Luffy is now freer than ever before, thanks to his Gear 5, and Kuma's hunch that Luffy was the savior of the world turned out to be absolutely right. Kuma believed that the Warrior of Liberation will one day come and save Bonnie and all those in need and now is the time for Luffy to shine and showcase why he is worth putting one's faith in. At the same time, Kuma himself is headed to Egghead Island right now and, once he gets to the island, it will be absolutely incredible for him to witness Nika in front of him for the very first time. After years of belief, Kuma will finally be rewarded and Luffy will have to prove to him, as well as Bonnie, that the faith that they put in him wasn't ill-placed. The upcoming few chapters of the Egghead Island arc are going to be covering its climax, and that is something that his fans very excited. Now is the time for Luffy to step up and prove his worth as an incredible pirate captain and lead the incredible incident that is going to shake the world, known as the Egghead Incident. One Piece fans have exciting times ahead of them, and One Piece Chapter 1102 is only the beginning. That's a wrap for this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more amazing videos very soon.